You learned in Chapter 12 that there are many different ways to start a job in PowerShell, a background job. One of those, and the way that you would use to start a long-running local job, is the start job command. You need to provide it with a script block, which is the command or commands that you want it to execute. For the most part, that's the only thing you need to provide. Now, if you've got a bunch of commands stacked up in a script, you could provide that script's file name as the dash file path parameter. So let's just do something here start job. Now instead of typing script block, you may be, find it easier to remember dash command. Now dash command is an alias to dash script block, so when I use dash command, it's the same as if I was using the dash script block parameter. I'm going to ask this to get event log, and the log name I want to get from is security, and um, I want to get this, let's say, the newest 200. That should take a few seconds to run. It has started that job. It now exists with an ID of 1, and because I did not specify an alternate job name, it just gave it a default job name of job1. It's running against the local host, and you can see that it's already started accumulating data for me to look at. I can run get job to check the status of that, and it has now completed. To get those results out, I'll receive job, and I need to either tell it the name or the ID of the job that I want to receive from. So I'll just give it the ID of 1, and it'll retrieve all of that information. Now if I run get job, you'll notice that has more data is false. Once you've received the results of a job, by default, PowerShell no longer caches them with the jobs. You can only receive them once. Let's do that whole thing again. Let's start another job. This time it's job ID is 3. And that's something to kind of pay attention to. You see, every time you create a job, you start out by creating a top-level master job or parent job that coordinates everything. You then have one child job for each computer that's being targeted. So in this case, job number one was my top-level parent job, and job number two, which isn't shown on this list, is the job that's specifically targeting localhost. Because I was only targeting localhost, that's the only child job of job ID 1. Therefore, the next job I create, since the ID numbers are created sequentially, is job ID number 3. So let's receive the results from job ID number 3. And this time we'll specify the dash keep parameter. So it still retrieves the results for me, but now when I run get job again, you can see that job 3 still has got some results, because I told PowerShell to keep them in memory. I can continue receiving the results from that job, provided I keep them, for as long as I want to. Once I close the shell, all of the results are discarded. So if you want to retain any of those things long term, it's important to export them to a file or, or some other form of storage. <laughs>